بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum, my name is Amina Abdullah. I am the Community Services Manager at MCC East Bay. My name is Sahar Ahmadi and I am the Community Services Assistant. My name is Rahim Qudus. I'm one of the volunteers here since the masjid opened. My name is Muhammad and I am the Operations Manager for the MCC CAR program. MCC is one of the largest community centers in the East Bay, serving thousands of Muslims. This Ramadan, one of our goals is to replenish our zakat funds. Your zakat donations help support MCC's rental assistance program, a car program, a thriving food pantry, and the refugee assistance program. These programs prioritize serving single mothers, victims of domestic violence, and families with children. We started the refugee relief effort right after everything happened in Afghanistan but on a daily basis. We help from everything such as apartment setups to providing food packages, hot meals, hygiene kits, strollers for their children. We set up four refugee bazaars so far. Really refreshing um, to be able to help them and also it's very heartwarming to see the smiles on their faces as they leave our bazaars with bags full of all these gifted items from us. We average two apartment setups per week and we provide everything for their kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom needs. Our goal with this program going forward is to help the newly settled Afghan refugees by allowing them to become more independent, but also continue to support them and their new life adjusting here in the United States. Asalaamu Alaikum everybody. My name is Hakeem, and today I will be talking about why you should donate to the MCC Food Pantry. Your donation will help the poor and give them food and inshallah money so they can live a better life. I've been helping with the food pantry since the start of Corona. And we started from the beginning of Corona from a small closet that we have in one of the classrooms to now over a thousand square feet of space that we are using as part of the Sunday school. Now it's over thousand square feet. We started from asking our community for donation and they start bringing their food from their own pantries or from a store, new used food Anything they had, they stopped bringing for us. Every Saturday, giving to, uh, at the beginning, we had like 16 family to help. Now we have over 340 or 350 families that we are helping. We got help also from uh, Alameda County, churches, community member. We are purchasing our own produce. We're getting diapers from helping mother out. So we're giving every other Saturday, the family that they need diapers, we give them diapers, we give them fresh produce, we give them staples, dry food, anything that we have. We make packages, separate packages for them. A few times a year, we give them meat. Either it's a chicken, ground beef, lamb, goat, meat, anything that we get donation, we give it to these needy people. Moving forward, our goal is to expand the food pantry. The space we have is small and beside that is a part of the Sunday school and hopefully in September if the school starts they need their space. So we are moving out to a bigger facility with the help of Alameda County we are getting a larger standalone space that we can help the needy people in our community. The CARD program is an initiative that's been around as long as MCC has had it's a zakat program. Anyone who is zakat eligible is able to apply for a car, and if they are approved, they can be placed in the queue to receive a car. Fairly certain we've passed 200 cars to date so in the last seven years. Things were pretty even flowed initially, cars here and there, but during COVID, the both need and supply for a period of time both really, really picked up. So a lot of people had excess cars they wanted to donate and as well as we had a lot more recipients applying for cars, who, whose current transportation needs did not no longer fit what they were doing in light of what was going on with COVID. And we also have, we've developed relationships with a couple of mechanic shops in the area, one in Fremont and one in Concord. And when we're, our second eligible recipients, our clients need help fixing the vehicles, we are able to facilitate that for them. Uh, Zakat doesn't end, so, 
Uh, we work to facilitate to improve the likelihood of our Zakat eligible clients to have better outcomes and to have more stability in their life. Uh, the list only gets longer and shorter. It doesn't ever end. Please donate your Zakat al-Fitr to MCC so that we can ensure that all of our Zakat families spend their ease in happiness and prosperity, inshallah.